What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be putting the airbags back into the Z. As you guys can see, the Z has a lot more room to go down and the, uh, the lip is pretty much on the ground. So, I'm pretty sure that we are gonna go ahead and put the bags in so that way we are not riding on the ground. If you guys didn't know, these are 18s. Uh, they're actually 17 inch faces stepped to 18s. If you guys see in my previous videos, I did own an S14. These wheels were originally for the S14. Um, I'll put a picture up on the screen now. But yeah, this wheels setup was for the S14. But I ended up getting rid of the car and upgrading to this 350Z before I actually got to run it on top of the S14. So, um, yeah, getting back to the subject, we're going to be putting the airbags in the car. That way the rear fitment can be better. Just so you guys know, this is not dialed in at all. Uh, these were when I had the stock wheels on, so nothing is adjusted. This is still at the height that I have the stock wheels on. There's a whole lot more camera adjustment to be done. But yeah, that's on the agenda for today. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so everybody wondering how to do bag over coilover setup. Um, this is pretty much how I do it. And I think a lot of people do it this way as well. This collar normally goes like this and the spring sits on top of it like this on the coilover, as you guys can see. So what I'm doing is I'm taking it and I'm flipping it so the flat side is gonna sit against the coilover just like this. If you guys can see, I just made the notches bigger on some spots, so that way it'll fit over the actual um, fitting here. And then I made notches so that way the holes would match up. And all I'm gonna do is take my bolts, and put one in like this, grab the other one. Sticking it in like this. And then I'm going to tighten it down onto this collar like that. Then I'm going to just slip it on like this. And tighten it all the way down. Alright, so the reason why I do it this way is because it eliminates the need for brackets. You're going to still take your other collar and you're going to lock this collar in so that way it doesn't spin. The reason for... The brackets is so that the bag doesn't spin freely on here, but if you do it this way, it eliminates the need for brackets, so it'll save you a couple hundred bucks. So yeah, just a small tip for you guys. All right guys, so this is what it looks like once it's in. As you guys can see, the bag fits nicely up in there. Everything is nice and snug. If you guys are wondering what kind of coilovers these are, 
These are eBay coilovers. I think I just paid like 500 bucks or so for these. I don't know, I've had this car for about four years. So about four years ago, I bought them. Um, I bought them with the intentions of going bags. So I didn't want to purchase like some 12 to $1,500 coilovers and bag them. And because uh, the air struts were out of my budget at the time. So, I mean, they're holding up nicely. They still ride really good. They're not leaking at all. Um, and this car has been bagged for about three years now. So, yeah, I mean, for 500 bucks, these coilovers are holding up pretty good. Um, I do not know what the name of them are. I do not know if they're Godspeed or whatnot. So in case you guys are wondering, I do not know their name. Um, when I bought them, they were just, they were under 350Z coilovers. They weren't like, there was no brand name on them or at all. Um, and I don't have a link because the link that I used, I tried to look and the seller is no longer selling anymore. I bought these on a clearance eBay post. So yeah. Just a little info on these coilovers right here. if we could uh try what? try see if you could spin the spring all the way down like spring screw the perch down then we wouldn't even need to unbolt the coil over <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so this is how the car is sitting right now we were actually able to leave the springs in the back we just um, spun everything down and then we we're able to leave them inside so they're still in there I put the bags inside the spring bucket and Blaine adjusted the camber so it's just about lip to fender Blaine is gonna go ahead and slot the tow bolt and then that should close this gap so the Z is coming along really nicely the only thing we need to do now is switch the management and the compressors from the XB into here which is one of the reasons that we took out the bags in the first place was because one of the compressors went out and we thought we wanted to run it static but it looks a lot better bagged so we're gonna keep it like this uh hopefully we're gonna switch over everything in the next video so that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you guys in the next one